Good morning, everyone. We're truly blessed with the weather. And we're truly blessed in so many ways as, as a parish. I'd, I'd like to begin with a few words of welcome and thanks. Then we'll move into the unveiling. Then I'll say a few words of description about the chalice before we, we move over to pray. So I'd like to thank, first and foremost, Bishop Allen. Thank you, Father, for coming today. Uh, two years since you were here, blessing the garden and uh, the statue of Our Lady. So, welcome back. I'd like to thank Father Kieran for coming, uh, who's sitting in the shade. Uh, Father Kieran, of course, would have known Sonia Roberts, whose memory we keep on her first anniversary today very, very well. Um, I'd like to welcome um, Father Gareth Jones from next door, from St Mary's, who in his words, own words said, I really can't miss the blessing of a six-foot chalice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank the, our four schools from the parish for being here today, and also, again, for two years ago, for the beautiful artwork that you've done for uh, our Rose, Rosary Way. Thank you. I'd like to thank those who unfortunately can't be here in two groups. First, first of all, those who, who made this chalice, um, who were unable to, to come over. I'd like to thank uh, Ottavio Baizi, who's the president of the Marble Mine in Valley. I'd like to thank Nicoletta Novelli, who's the architect who helped design and, and create and realize this chalice. I'd like to thank Stefano, who's the president of Garfagnana Innovazione, the company who sculpted the chalice, and Andrea, who they sent yesterday to assemble it. It really was till last minute. The, f the work was finished on Sunday night. It was packaged on Monday, delivered here Tuesday and Wednesday, and assembled yesterday. So, vorrei ringraziare specialmente per tutto il lavoro che avete fatto in questi giorni. Specialmente all'ultimo momento, questo l'ultimo fine settimana. Um, mi dispiace tantissimo che non siete qui con noi oggi, ma um, sono contento che voi siete con noi uh, in diretta tramite live streaming. Grazie <laughs> e auguri da, da, tutti, da tutti qui. Um, those who can be with us, though, representing the Italians who can't, um, I'm delighted that we have the president of the Lucchese Nel Mondo Association, Corrado Cotelli, Honorevole Corrado Cotelli, the president. It's the association of those who are from the province of Lucca in northern Tuscany um, who, who are now dispersed throughout the world. And Corrado is the president of the London branch. So thank you, Corrado, for coming. And uh, Honorevole Giuseppe Moretti, uh, Ambasciatore, an ambassador for the village where the marble mine is. So thank you for, for coming. Those who can't be with us today also are those whose names are inscribed on the chalice. Um, we remember particularly um, Brian McWilliams, Father Brian McWilliams is in Nazareth House, unable to travel, and really had hoped that uh, Monsignor Arthur Barrow would have been able to be here, but uh, he had a stroke just recently in his convalescing, so please keep him in your prayers, together with his two brothers who, uh, who couldn't be with us really just because of, of travelling. One's in Guyana and the other's in Barbados. But I'm delighted that on their behalf, they're represented by uh, their sisters, Jan Janet and Sister Mary, uh, delighted that you could be here to, to represent your brothers today. You probably think that I've missed somebody out, but deliberately I've left Father Stuart Foster till last, because without Father Stuart none of this would have been possible, and I'd like to thank Father Stuart for all of the hours that he put in researching the name on described on this chalice today. And I think it, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to thank Father Stuart and also the Bishop for um, giving us Father Stuart as a diocesan archivist and the, the importance of this parish that we can celebrate today. Architetto Novelli, Nicoletta Novelli, hasn't been here, but working from photographs and from a plan of the garden, 
the narrative of the Rosary Way now concludes with the Luminous Mysteries and the institution of the Eucharist. And the positioning of this chalice is deliberate because, like Bishop Allen's motto, it's through Mary we come to Christ. And so the narrative along the wall, and Mary is actually facing the altar of the church. And so it was most opportune that we put the, this chalice on the eye line between Mary and, and the altar. So, Bishop Allen, if you'd like to unveil our chalice. So that the chalice, um, our architect came up with the idea, Nicoletta came up with the ideas of 58 rings, one ring for each of the priests and deacons from this parish. And at the bottom it says, in memory of Sonia Roberts, who died on the 21st of June 2018, may she rest in peace. Those ordained to the priesthood and diaconate from this parish. And then starting with Father Percy Williams, and if I could just highlight Cardinal Heenan, Bishop Foley, Bishop Brian Foley, Monsignor Dan Shanahan, I think Father Stewart would appreciate it. Monsignor Dan Shannon was the Chancellor of the Diocese. It's quite um, ironic or symbolic that he's the, the, the centre of the ring holding, the, holding up the chalice with the, the canon lawyer. And then we have Arthur Barrow, Brian McWilliams, Michael Barrow and Robert Barrow, Father Jerry Butcher, whose funeral we celebrated here two years ago. And on the top it says, and I shall go to the altar of God from Psalm 43, with a representation of the host and the three, first three letters of the Greek um, name for Jesus, IHS, Iota, Eta, uh, Sigma. And the two symbols of priesthood are not only the chalice, but also the stole that we wear, and inscribed, etched into the side of the chalice here, is a stole with the cross and the Cairo, the first two Greek letters of, of Christus. But of course, there's not 58 rings, there's actually 59. The top one is, is left empty, symbolically, for us to pray for vocations, especially from this parish, and that brings us appropriately to the beginning of our liturgy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. As Father Andrew said, much to celebrate today, the unveiling, the blessing of this uh, chalice. We've got um, the, the details here. Sonia, who died a year ago today. It's the longest day of the year, and it is a miracle here. We've got sunshine today. We've had sunshine for about two or three months, have we? So it's rather nice, and uh, although I, I soon get a bit hot, I hope I heat up rather than cool down. That's my prayer today. And it's the feast day today of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. I'll tell one or two things about him in a minute. Let us pray. O oh God, you chose priests and deacons from among us and sent them out to proclaim your word and act in your name. For so great a gift to your church, we give you praise and thanksgiving. As we recall their generosity, may our prayers and act of remembrance inspire others to hear and answer your call. We ask this through Christ's darling. Amen. The response to the psalm is the cup of salvation is poured out for you. The cup of salvation I will raise and call the Lord's name. Preserve me, God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. The cup of salvation I will raise and call the Lord's name. He has put into my heart a marvellous love for the faithful ones who dwell in this land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. 
Never will I offer, never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take my name upon my lips. The cup of salvation I will raise and call on the Lord's name. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. The cup of salvation I will raise and call on the Lord's name. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. The cup of salvation I will raise and call on the Lord's name. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. The cup of salvation I will raise and call on the Lord's name. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. The cup of salvation I will raise and call on the Lord's name. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons and, kneeling down, asked a favour of him. What is it you want? he asked. She said, Grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup I am going to drink? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard about this, they were indignant with the two brothers. Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the gospel we've just heard, our Lord tells us about his deepest identity. The Son of Man, the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, came not to be served, but to serve. But we know that during his life he called on disciples, the word disciple simply means learner, one who learns. He called on disciples to learn about Jesus Christ and actually in that learning, through that learning, to become Jesus Christ for others. He asks us in the Gospels time and time again to simply be as he is. We speak as Christ, we act as Christ, we live in the world as Christ to the extent to which we're able to. But also, when he called some disciples, he made them apostles. Again, apostle is sim someone simply who is sent in the name of Christ. And those apostles, those disciples, well, they act in the name of Christ, and more in particularly, they speak in the name of Christ. So at Mass every day, when the priest says, this is my body broken for you, this is my blood poured out for you, we believe, our faith teaches us, those are the words of Christ, living and active, here and now. Jesus Christ is saying, yesterday, today and tomorrow. So, we thank Almighty God today for all the vocations he's raised up in this parish. We really do. 
But um, as I was looking at this, you can see the names, you can see the dates, it's all very beautiful. If you start here, you can also remind yourself on this side, it uh, goes right the way around. But then there's this top layer, the marble layer, which is blank. And the reason it's blank is that other names, another name, may be added. So today, deliberately, we pray for vocations to the service of Christ. There are many ways of serving Christ, many ways of following Christ. We think of priests, of sisters, of deacons, so it goes on, of disciples of Christ, lay people. Wherever we are, we try and follow Christ, we try and become like Christ, but today particularly, we thank Almighty God for all he does for us. We ask that he will raise it once again new disciples in his name, new vocations who will follow his way. Last Saturday I ordained a permanent deacon for the diocese, tomorrow I'll ordain a priest for the diocese and let's hope that the Lord will provide many people to collect the harvest in his great vineyard. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so let us entrust all our needs to God's care. For Pope Francis and all the bishops of the church, that they may be good shepherds and prophetic voices in our society today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those whose names are inscribed on this chalice. May they be rewarded for their generosity in responding to your call and for their good deeds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all the church, that we might give testimony to the voice of God through lives of holiness and words that resonate with the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commence our novena for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and diaconate from this parish. Let us pray. O Lord our God, be pleased to bless this chalice. May the remembrance of those ordained to serve your people bestow that same blessing which you bestow on the hallowed chalice of your servant Melchizedek and make our lives worthy of your service by your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Aloysius, you renounced your birthright and gave your life to care for the sick and poor. Your father wanted you to be a soldier, but you chose to be a missionary. Pray with us now that others will imitate your generosity and desire to be a priest. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Saint Aloysius, in his own life, had a very brief life. He gave up his birthright, uh, I suppose the possibility really of great riches, of a wonderful life, and entered the sight of Jesus as a novice. He then died as a novice, simply serving others 
caring for the sick. A simple, straightforward reminder that whoever we are, whether old, whether young, whether rich or poor, we can all of us follow Christ, we can all of us imitate Christ. <coughs> Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who choose the weak and make them strong in bearing witness to your love, may this earthen vessel be reminded to others of our need for worthy ministers to answer your call to be instruments of your grace in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. This is my body, broken for you, bringing your wholeness, making you free. Take it and eat it, and when you do, do it in love for me. This is my blood, poured out for you, bringing forgiveness, making you free. Take it and drink it, and when you do, do it in love for me. Love one another, I have loved you, and I have shown you how to be free. Serve one another, and when you do, do it in love for me. Just a couple of things I forgot to mention about the chalice. One, one is the colour of the marble, deliberately chosen to be purple, to tie in again with the luminous mystery in the Eucharist. Uh, and the other thing is, you'll notice that it's not straight. It's actually deliberately, the, the, each disc is an ellipse, and they move through 10 degrees, so it spirals. And you might have seen this on the Baldacchino above the altar at St. Peter's. It's, it's an architectural feature designed to make something which is heavy. The baldacchino above the altar of St. Peter's is made of bronze. Something which is heavy, and this weighs 700, 800 kilos, to make it look light by giving it movement. It really is, for this garden, the icing on the cake. And literally, the icing on the cake of a big cake next door. So you're all invited now into the parish hall, and Bishop Allen's going to come over and and cut the, the chalice of the icing on the cake. So please do join us. Thank you. Thank you.